Now, before we go further, there are two most common types of measurements I use. I use uh, the first one is option premium volatility. This one, not many people do use it. Okay? The most of the time people use market volatility. Oh, Thomas, the ATR say huh, every day uh, move $25. Uh, the standard deviation of the Bollinger Band show this number. Uh, this is why I call uh, a thing like standard Bollinger Band. Uh, ATR, la, all the standard deviation are uh, all uh, what, uh, indicative of uh, what give a uh, market volatility numbers. Understand what I'm saying? Uh? Okay, everybody? So easy. Look at ATR. Here's ATR. Standard deviation. Yes, Thomas. Standard deviation got 8 dash. And 10 dash got what? Should I measure the high, the low, everything? All are valid. It's how you. you how you understand the information and apply it in the market. Remember, statistics is as good as a user. Okay? If people statistics is, is, is a lie, the damn lie, is referring to the user, you believe the use the belief you believe in into it. So you apply it. Because end of the day, whatever I do now is always based on what dollars and cents. Tonight's session I'll be touching on as hopefully not too much because I'm my student will have been. It's by way option premium volatility. Option, every options, every strike price, every expiry have option pricing. The volatility is referring to the price. It's very, very, very accurate. When you measure cap patterns, you're measuring generalization. Options is very precise. Because why, Thomas, I buy a 120 call on Google on 60 days. Uh, all these are measurable. Okay? So options, uh, option premium uh, is what we call future forward looking or future tense. Because why? Uh, options for 60 days are, uh, okay, must based on what underlying time frame. And uh, at 60 days, what's the strike price? 120, 120 call. That means that uh, the buyers and sellers of options must give must calculate what you call the future pricing deliverable. Because if you hold options, uh, hold a call options uh, until uh, the, uh, until 31st of December this year, the sellers must price, must calculate, the, must able to price uh, the movement uh, for 31st of December. So if everybody agreed that Google can go, to, go up to $500 by 31st of December, gentlemen, the options uh, for the 120 call are uh, Will not be $10, $15. It'll be $100, $200, $300, $400. Why? <coughs> because everybody thinks, everybody know, everybody believe Google can go up, go up to, will go up to $500 by, by next, by next 30 days. So everybody must price accordingly. Understand what I say about option premium, option premium volatility analysis. Huh? It's my explanation. Clear enough, or or what? Or you need me to simplify it, or you, or you need me to slow down? 